All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Now Testify Late Night FSD version 12.3.4. I'm super excited for this update. Um, version 12.3.3 has been interesting for me, but not great. But we're going to take it on test loop one to see what the improvements might be. Unfortunately, release notes are the same as they have always been since we came out with 12.3. And uh, yeah, so but first, before I get started, I want to say thank you everybody for watching the channel and watching the videos. Really appreciate all your likes, comments, and I have some new subs to shout out. So thank you so much to Re, Raj Kaba, David S, Ito C, P V Doug, Michelle Jewel, Yol Sef, and Lafayette Junior Twenty Eight. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And if you want to shout out for uh, the next video, um, just hit the subscribe button. I get those notifications and I will give you a shout out. Thank you again so much. All right. So we've got our destination in. All right. We actually have the ability to uh, enable it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. We've got the auto speed set. We have some construction uh, here tonight. And let's see how test loop one does. So if you watched my last video, check that out up here. Uh, you'll see the original challenge I had for FSD since I started at the beginning uh, crept back up. It had been solved for quite a while. Essentially, it was um, as simple as obeying a right turn only lane. And um, it has pretty consistently failed. It seems like uh, every uh, two out of three, and unless they're like, I don't know, stars align or something, but two out of three times it seemed to fail. Um, and by that I mean it would um, be in the right turn only lane and not obey the right turn. Instead it needed to be to left. But I'll shut that out. That is called my Pybus Challenge. And that will be at the center point of our trip today. I'll display a map here, but here's our first unprotected left. And again, being later at night, I'm not expecting um, much. Good acceleration. We're already up to almost 40 miles an hour. I know some people don't care for that, but that's how um, I would probably drive, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I, I like it. I like it. I am also in the assertive profile, although again, I don't think that has too much bearing really on the um, acceleration, if you will. Um, something I probably should test, but I have never found it to have that much uh, impact. going a little slow through here speed limit is 40 for sure and we don't need a blinker so that's different I mean I guess it's not I don't know nobody does a blinker there and it's never done that before uh, there's a give me there because uh, that is a yield to traffic in that traffic circle, but obviously none to contend with at this time of night, so no problem. Okay, lane change here. I am not sure why. Another lane change. Hopefully uh, lane change shenanigans aren't back. All right, so welcome to the Pybus Challenge. If you've been watching my channel at all in any of my FSD videos, this has been the pinnacle of my test. Something that failed quite a bit from the beginning, went away from the majority, I would say, of V11, um, but now it came back with version 12.3.3. We're still in the right-hand lane. This is a right turn only. We need to be in the left-hand lane. Are we going to take a right, or is it going to go straight? 
I will take over if it decides to go straight. And it is. So that is a failure of the Pibus Challenge. Uh, for shits and gigs, let's say, um, I will loop back and we will give it another go. That's, um, gosh, dang it. It says right turn only, has plenty of opportunity, there's no traffic around it to move into the other lane. It has sometimes done it. Like I said, it's like two out of three. So let's see how many uh, takes it, it does. Maybe we'll try that tonight. So we'll, we'll make a loop, we'll see how many times around the block it needs to go before it actually makes it to the destination. Quite ridiculous. Um, but again, I give it a two block head start. So I go up to this next one way and I'll engage it so the route shifts. All right, so we're back on track and let's see if it happens to get it on this go. Dang it, that's uh. Oh, I was really hoping for uh, a solve right out the gate with that one. It's such an easy thing. It's right turn only, and especially with no traffic. My conjecture had all had typically been, well, if there's somebody to the left, it's hesitant about trying to cut that person off, etc. Um, but nope, doesn't look like we're getting any shift here. Some Sometimes it will go ahead and make its way right over to that left lane. But this is a bike lane if you go straight. Uh, and plus the line says right turn only. Okay. So, and I didn't leave a voice message before, so we'll do that this time. Car was going straight in a right turn only lane. Again, going straight in a right turn only. All right, so we will make one more go of it. All right, so we'll see if it makes a go of it this time. It's slowing down pretty good. I don't see any motion to the left. No cars behind us. It can absolutely move over to that left lane, but it's choosing not to. All right. Well, fail of the Pibus challenge again. Gosh, dang it. It's so frustrating. Right turn only lane, and the car was going forward or going straight, ignoring a right turn only lane. Uh, if you guys have any tips, I used to just say beta, right? But... Now I feel so awkward just saying like the car and obviously supervised doesn't work. So I'm open to suggestions on how best to say that. All right. So let's hit our loop and, and gosh, dang it. Double check the route. That looks fine. All right. So there's a one other big challenge on this loop back coming off the bridge. Uh, that's again, kind of a lane selection Uh, issue and actually is in 12.3.3 it was pretty consistent well no i shouldn't say 12.3.3 and maybe it's just this architecture in general is just not not super consistent with the exception of failing the fibus challenge right failing a right turn only lane with proper markings signage it's on the street uh it's got to be in map data i've looked at open maps before it's in the map data so um and if it's again if it's just primarily using navigation to make its choices there's plenty of indication that it cannot make it cannot go straight there okay so unprotected left, pretty simple. Again, light traffic. Uh, you guys, I'm really disappointed. I mean, and we're not really getting the release notes we used to that would, would while I uh, am not a engineer, uh, I do 
I do have a, a pretty good grasp of programming, object-oriented programming. I've done front-end code. I started my programming. I started learning code with C++. So I have an idea of kind of what goes into it. Never have done anything complex myself. That said, you know, at least we were getting some, in the release notes, some ideas of what they were trying to address. And I know it's different now, right? Because since they're not programmatically saying at a right turn only, turn right, you know, um, I know we know that that's not happening anymore, um, but, you know, hopefully there is something with the, they can adjust within the neural net that would allow it to recognize that. I, I don't know. Okay, we, last version, we also would get a blinker here. And there it is. Again, I don't think it's technically incorrect, but we're already in the lane, and we don't have a choice but to make a right turn, right? Um, and then also, the other thing we would occasionally have is some hesitancy with joining traffic. Now, this is its own lane. It doesn't have to yield. It can just go, and it's really slow. 25 is really slow here, I mean. Okay. And it's making its way over to the left. I think I've got a law enforcement behind me. <laughs> so I can't let it do any shenanigans. And we're at the critical spot here uh, where it needs to, to nail it. Okay, so it's going to go ahead. No, making a decision on the right lane choice. Okay, so this will work. But then this sets it up for perhaps failure in another aspect. So again, it should actually be in the middle lane. That gets us to our end goal. And what ends up happening here in, in the last version is then it decides too late to get over to this left-hand lane to follow the remainder of our route. And it should have made that choice by now. Okay. And so, nope. So no change there. Late or no uh, exit. So it wasn't trying, it should have made its way over to the left-hand lane in order to make the exit, but showed no intention of going and making that exit. All right, so, so far, the two uh, slash maybe three biggest issues are, are still occurring here with 12.3.4 uh, for me. Um, again, it's still pretty smooth, and there's a good interaction there. We had a cop or some uh, their emergency vehicle there behind us. Uh, and then we had a pedestrian actually crossing on our green, and it slowed down appropriately for him. Okay, and that biker, that bicyclist would have totally freaked out Beta before. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I saw him, like, kind of right at the last minute as well. So, good job, Beta, for kind of keeping pace. It did look like it gave him maybe a little bit of room. So... Gosh, dang it. Well, that, um, so for 12.3.4, I'm not seeing a significant change in at least my, my testing and the behaviors I have seen, um, are, are still occurring. Uh, I, I saw all what we did tonight on 12.3.3. So looks like whatever might have been adjusted for 12.3.4 was either extremely minor, um, or just didn't really uh, have an impact on the issues that I'm having. So, gosh, I don't. I hope uh, they're able to get some more training data for those things. I mean, my car, and I know that there's a lot more Teslas here drive that same route all the time. So hopefully that's something that, I don't know, they can source and kind of find out. But um, that's disappointing for me and kind of the test areas that I have had been having issues with um, FSD supervised. Um, 
And I think to kind of to summarize it, the right turn only is probably the biggest critical issue, right? Because it's not its own lane, and it has even tried in uh, other times I've tested it to even go straight, even when there is a car in the lane next to us. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, and that's, I would say, a pretty critical disengagement. Um, the, bri the, uh, the bridge exit there, so the, the initial exit to get off the bridge, you know, again, the ideal route would be the middle lane, but again, it's fine. It made the correct exit. Uh, didn't have an issue there. And then, uh, then again, it had I let it continue down uh the route and i'm not gonna let it do i'm not gonna do the um the cul-de-sac tonight um but had i let it do its normal route or let it continue down its path it would have been safe enough right it would have then rerouted and uh would have had to go just a, a slightly different route than normal. So that's not a safety critical disengagement. It's a route planning disengagement. Um, it's a slower route to go. And let me know what you think in the comments. Like, is that something I should like, like just let it do? Should I, or should I say, no, you need to adhere to the route planner. Um, I have heard of other folks having issues with it, with um, FSD kind of ignoring the route planner and perhaps taking a more efficient way, but I'm pretty convinced, uh, and I, I know for sure that the going the way it wanted to go is not more efficient. So, um, yeah, disappointed, but there it is folks. Um, thank you so much for watching and hopefully, uh, FSD 12.3.4 solves any issues you might have uh and let me know if you have any questions